wasn't kidding. Today's meal is nowhere near as good as last time. Oh, who knows how long it'll be until we're lucky enough to get that super tasty meal again. Ah, forget about it then. We'll just deal with the regular food for the time being. Let's just get out of here as soon as possible. But life here doesn't seem all that bad. Other than the foreman being kind of mean and the work being pretty tiring. You think so, mate? <laughs> if I had a coupon for every fish who said that. Seems you fishies still haven't learned your lessons from your life up on the surface. If you take things at face value, then by the time you reach a dead end, you won't even know how you ended up on that road in the first place. <laughs> I like your attitude. I can, uh, let you in on a little something. Everyone's been telling you to just follow the rules and not cause any trouble for yourself. Am I right? But what they don't tell you is that the rules aren't exactly what they pretend to be. The rules for being a prisoner. The truth is, this place has a lot of hidden rules. Huh? Hidden rules? What do you mean? Not everyone knows about those rules, but whether you know them or not, once you break one, you might encounter something even worse than death. Really? Oh, now you're really scaring poor Paimon. Don't joke around like that! Of course. And I'd say that just disappearing would be one of the better outcomes. Oh, you mean that if there really are hidden rules, then child's disappearance might have something to do with that? Uh, in that case, would you tell us some hidden rules? We definitely want to avoid breaking them. <laughs> Come on, mate. This is valuable information. The difference between life and death. Do you really think you can just ask and I would tell you? Paimon understands, but... We don't have many credit coupons yet. Yeah, yeah, I know. Not like I'm going anywhere. Just come talk to me after you've saved enough. Moreover, your new fish, freshly caught, and completely out of your element. What'd be the point in even telling you anything before you've gotten a handle on your new lives? Come and find me once you've been here longer. I'm usually around the rag and bone shop. Just call me V-Doc. Bye-bye now. into buying fake information from him. Yeah. It might be a good place to start in our investigation. Hidden rules, huh? But, like he said, we don't have any coupons and we're still not familiar with this place. Oh, there's nothing we can do about it now. Ah! We were so busy talking, we almost forgot to eat. Even if it's not the best, it's probably better while it's warm. Come on, dig in before it gets cold!
Paima just confirmed with the guards that our shift is set for every morning, and we're free to do whatever we want all afternoon. But it seems like most of the other inmates choose to continue working through the afternoon to earn more credit coupons. Oh, and they also said that you can use coupons to skip work in the morning and free up your time. They weren't kidding. Credit coupons really can be used to do anything here. I'm so tired, and we'll need to wake up and go to work in the morning. Without any credit coupons, it's not like we can really do anything else. Hmm. Nighty night, Traveler. Paimon hopes we can keep making progress on our investigation tomorrow. Wasn't an ordinary dream? Oh, <gasps> child's vision! So you had it with you this whole time? Maybe the vision connected child's consciousness to yours! And our investigation has its first major breakthrough! Good thing you brought the vision with you here. So what did you see in the dream? Do you know where child went? Okay. Well, hopefully it'll be a bit more helpful in the future. What's more important now is that it's the start of another new day as prisoners. Let's do our best to earn more credit coupons. What's the plan for today? Let's go! It's time to start working. If that guard fielding catches us skulking about, he's sure to give us an earful. <laughs> Look who decided to show up. Get your butts in gear and get to work. Time's a-wasted. Good, here you go. Remember to give me the widget once you've finished processing it. Feet. But after so many shifts, it seems we're really getting the hang of it now. Hey there, fellow shift mates. I saw you finished your work, so I thought I'd come over and say hi. Oh, hey there. We've seen you before. 
floor. Your assigned workspace is really close, isn't it? <laughs> That's right. The name's Rowan. This past few days, I couldn't help but notice the new faces working nearby. I guess we were destined to meet. I've been working here for almost 15 years. Even the foreman, Grainbill, always calls me Chief. Whoa, you've been working here a long time, Chief. <laughs> if there's anything you'd like to know, just ask me. I know the work here in the production zone better than the back of my hand. All right, Chief. Be sure to come to you first. Did you just ask about the rules? <laughs> Pretty sharp for newcomers. You've already heard about the rules, huh? Who'd you hear it from? Hmm. All right. Seeing as I'm the one who came over here, you're already calling me chief. I guess I can tell you a little. Truth is, you two keep working like this. You might be putting yourselves in danger. Huh? Wait, there's even a rule about that? What would have happened if you never told us about this? Well, it's usually not that easy to break one on accident. The conditions of the hidden rules are usually pretty specific. But once you do break one, bad things happen. If you work continuously in the production zone for three days, and if all you do besides eating and sleeping is just work, then something bad will happen during lunch on the third day. Huh? Like what? Oh, don't scare Playmine! Heh. <laughs> if I knew that, then I wouldn't be standing here talking to you, now would I? You mean, even you have never tried working three days like that before? There's actually a legend about this rule. They say that there was a worker who worked way harder than me. He was both efficient and eager on the job, and most other workers couldn't hold a candle to him. One time, he tried to test his limits and worked as long as he could. Then during lunch on the third day, he disappeared into thin air, as if he'd evaporated. Later, some people went and asked some of his past friends about him, but they said, never heard of the guy. Unfortunately, we were assigned different production zones. I never saw for myself what he looked like. Wait, are you thinking that it was... Huh? Oh? You... Uh, listen, kid. This ain't the kind of thing you should be curious about. Let me tell you, you're better off forgetting about it and looking after yourself. Now I kind of regret ever telling you. Yeah, I agree with Chief here. Do you really want to try? <sighs> All right, if you insist. afternoon. Right, we just need to keep at it. Look who decided to show up. Get your butts in gear and get to work. Time's a-wasted. Good, here you go. Remember to give me the widget once you've finished processing. Let me have a look. Hmm, not bad. Right, here's your credit coupons. Ah, we woke up 
were so early today that Paimon's been nodding off all afternoon. Good thing it's finally time for bed. <sighs> the dawn of a new day. Paimon feels like we're getting used to life as convicts. Uh, is that a good thing or a bad thing? What do you have planned for us? Look who decided to show up. Get your butts in gear and get to work. Time's away. Uh oh? What's with suddenly wanting to work so hard? You need coupons that badly? Sh sure. Let's just say we really want to test our limits. It. Paimon doesn't even have the energy to talk anymore. Is it time to eat yet? Oh, Paimon's exhausted. It's just work, work, and more work. Paimon's little body can't handle this much longer. <gasps> Wait a sec. Now that Paimon thinks about it, haven't we been working non-stop for three days now? And... Oh, Paimon feels a shiver going down her spine. What's going to happen? But it doesn't seem like anything's changed at all. And we made it to the coupon cafeteria safely. Are the so-called hidden rules only a rumor after all? Well... There's no use to just guessing all day. Paimon's stomach has been grumbling the whole time. Let's just eat already! Paimon wonders what we'll get today! Maybe we'll get the super lucky meal! Wait! What? What, what in the world is this? What's with Paimon's food? And yours is the same! Is this stuff... meat? But it looks and feels so bizarre! What kind of chef would make food like this? What do you think is going on? Is this the bad thing that Rowan was talking about? No, stop right there! Paimon gets what you mean, just don't say it! Hey, isn't that Wolsey over there? He must have made the food, right? So let's just ask him about the food and be done with it! Hey, Wolsey! Have a moment? Hmm? What is it? I'm about to go report the numbers for today's free meal, so you'd better make it quick. Uh, it's about the meat in our meals. Look! Does it seem... normal... to you? The meat? Oh, that. Looks perfectly fine to me. Totally normal. You better hurry up and shout out.
would you like to do this afternoon? Since we have time now, let's focus on investigating some more. Oh, hello. You two are the ones who were with His Grace. No need to be so nervous. Sorry, I couldn't help but think of His Grace once I saw you, and I... Uh... Oh, it's hard to say. Maybe I am. 
He's got a very overwhelming presence. It makes me feel like I'm just some insignificant little bug. Wait, seriously? Well, I'm always indecisive, and I tend to make a mess of things. It's like a reflex. I just instantly start to tense up the moment I see a smart and capable person like His Grace. What? F please, don't say anything like that out loud. How could you possibly think something like that? It's not gold. That certainly glitters. Siege Wing? Aren't you supposed to be in the infirmary? What are you doing in the production zone? Hello, Traveler. Paimon? Everyone's usually busy around now, and we don't have any patients to look after in the infirmary. I thought I'd come here and enjoy the sight of everyone hard at work. Enjoy? What's there to enjoy here? It's really worth watching. I often stand here and observe everyone. Humans are just so interesting and adorable. I like to watch your expressions while you work. Uh, are you talking about pets or people? Oh, I can see why you think that, but you shouldn't jump to conclusions. See, we Melazines are a different species. And we see the world very differently from humans. It's very easy for me to observe everyone's condition. All it takes is one look, and I can tell which workers are exhausted. Wait, Melazines can see that? Huh, that does sound useful for being a nurse. <sighs> yes, running around tending to everyone's health is very fulfilling. But I'd much prefer it if you're all happy and free from exhaustion and pain in the first place. Take care of your body. Make sure you eat well. Always rest when you're tired from work and don't push yourself too hard. We'll definitely take care of ourselves. Thanks for the reminder. Hey, is the traveler in... <laughs> no need to tease me, okay? I won't trip on the same step twice. Listen, I feel ashamed about last time. Thank you for praising me in front of his grace. Here are the extra credit coupons he gave me. I'd like you to have them. Huh? No, we couldn't take them. They're your reward after all. But when I was welcoming you, I didn't do anything but give you the stink eye. Come on, I insist. These coupons are nothing compared to getting the attention of His Grace. I won't take no for an answer. <laughs>
Oh, oh, uh, I was injured a bit just now. Nothing major, I think I just pulled something. Little mishaps like this are unavoidable at work, you know? Huh. Paima wouldn't have thought someone as experienced as the Chief would still get hurt on the job. I just knew you would say that. This is pretty embarrassing. <sighs> Where is Siegeween when you need her anyway? The one time I need to make a quick trip to the infirmary. Oh, you mean she wasn't in the infirmary? Yeah. The rumors say that there's never anybody in the infirmary in the half hour before lunch. And nobody knows where Siegeween gets off to. to her work, where else would she possibly go? Uh, forget it. I can take care of a small sprain like this on my own anyway. No need to trouble her. Oh, wonderful. I was worried that you'd be busy trying to earn reward coupons all the time, but it seems like you haven't neglected your investigation work after all. Paima likes having more coupons, but no one wants to work all the time. Have you also been investigating the area, Lynette? Nope, I was just slacking off, and you happened to catch me. My brother is still obsessed with anything remotely related to the Forbidden Zone, but knowing him, it won't be long before we get more leads. Oh, before I forget, this is for you. Huh? Credit coupons? Why are you giving us these? I've been here longer than you. Coupons aren't a resource in particularly short supply. What is in short supply are interesting people to talk with. Aw, that's so nice of you, Lynette. We'll be sure to make good use of these coupons then. Thanks a bunch! Looks like a research notebook. That suspicious guy peeking into the infirmary just now. Are they a fan of Siegeween? He must have dropped this. Let Paimon read it real quick. The Melisi perceive the world very differently from humans. There are significant deviations. As a result, their sense of aesthetics and beauty is also very different from that of humans. This must be taken into consideration when giving gifts. Ooh, this all sounds pretty serious. He sure did his homework. And as for the notebook, let's take it. <laughs> 